we have begun. This is part of the Green Mountain National Forest. Uh, I got new boots on. New boots, Chippewas. They're technically a logger working style boot, but I want to break them in. Might be a little rough. No, no, come on, go this way. Go around. There we go, stupid. <laughs> You're not stupid, I'm sorry. But, um, and this trail goes way back. I don't know if you could call this Big Woods or not, but it's, um, it's pretty big. You know, it's Green Mountain National Forest. It's huge. I mean, if I head north, which is that way, um, I could walk for a couple miles. Um, we'll call it medium woods, I guess. The plan for today is, uh, cause I've scouted this, this area before last fall is to get in here and, and uh, drop some pins on, uh, some potential, uh, blind spots where I'm going to drop the ground blind. So, um, we're going to get in find some of these areas where I, where I find some high traffic and and uh, and then give it a shot come bow season and rifle season and we got a hound that's lagging behind he's a fatty so and obviously like I said it's summer so I'm not too concerned about spooking deer <laughs> uh I'm more concerned about making sure I have water and just finding uh, some potential spots. And we'll, c we'll come in and uh, do some more serious scouting come fall. Really, dude? Recording and walking is going to be tough. <laughs> so, I actually sat... There's a beaver pond. You probably can't see it. There's a tiny window of it right there in the center of the screen, about 100 yards off. And I headed in about 100 yards up the trail here to the right and sat in there. Because um, about a week before I kicked a buck, the only buck I ever saw in this area with my own two eyes. I actually kicked a buck out of here who was um, bedded down. So, um, and then there's a little little wetland area to the left here. Or what would be to the west. How you doing, buddy? Hey, you hot? Of course you are. I'm getting the shade. Okay, so this is actually, um, A spot I explored post deer season coming up here just hiking around would be nice to go down this a little ways hey eh, you know what screw it let's do it this is um, so the beaver pond is over there maybe a half mile and uh, this, as far as I know, goes down into a small valley, and it goes up if you head east that way, which I kind of want to avoid. So what this is, is a creek bottom. <laughs> I wasn't really paying attention, but um, it's a, look at that, there's a Dunkin' Donuts cup there. Jesus Christ, you can't escape it. Right there. Um, there's some deer tracks right there. Heading back the way I came. There's another one, relatively fresh. Interesting. Trying not to step on them. Oh, it's a leaf. It's a dried up leaf. So this is interesting. Um, I don't really feel like pursuing this much further. I kind of want to get up to where I know I've got serious traffic. Um, but it's always interesting to check places out like this. It's always good to 
try something different. I actually see a clearing down there, almost like there's another beaver pond. Hmm, let's check it out. I'm gonna check it out. So, this is the runoff from that, uh, the beaver dam. Interesting vegetation on the rocks, it's like black. Um, but there's just a small wetland down there. Um, that I'm gonna try and get over and take a peek at real quick and then I'm gonna head back on the trail. You got it. Come on, buddy, you got it. That's oddly placed. Pretty far into the woods. Oh, you know what, I see some more here. Some more charred, charred wood. Oh, right here, somebody had a fire right there. Interesting. And he knows which way we came in, because he has a nose. Huh, buddy? Huh, buddy? Anyways, wetland's pretty interesting. It almost seems like there might be a bedding area back in there somewhere, but I can't be sure. And it's pretty close to the road. So I'm gonna go in, get out on the trail and go in a little bit further. Oh. Okay, hey. Okay, you thirsty now? Get some water. Get some water. Good boy. I put some more. No? Okay. Huh? Watch your head. Watch out. Move your head. Move your head. Back up. No, no. Let me pour it in. Oh, here. Oh, here. Stop. <laughs> here. There you go. Now, now get it. We're not too far from Route 9. And those are some old spots I marked. So we'll, we'll peep those up ahead. I don't know, I think that's maybe a half mile total distance. We're all watered up. Ready to rock for another hour and then I'll probably call it quits because I'm soaked with sweat. This is a really cool spot. Um, this is another beaver pond um, that I sat at and hunted late season. Um, what's down there, buddy? I'm being kind of quiet because um, the drainage area up here to the left which I believe to be an old, I think it's an old beaver pond. I have seen does in this opening over here before. Spooked them a couple times. Shit, my battery's low, god damn it. Nothing. I'm being a little loud and I'm smelly and the wind is, well, let's see. It's almost out of the east, southeast. Like I said, this is an old beaver pond. You can see one of their huts, kind of cool. I ought to take a picture of that, actually. My last time I was here in the fall, just before bow season, there was uh, two does standing on the far edge of the, the pond over there. Pretty cool. It's cool to see all the petrified uh, stumps. It's 
somebody's got a chair. So we're actually pretty, where I sat is about a hundred yards in there. And uh, we're gonna take a peek because last time I was in here there was tons of scrapes and a few rubs. Oh no, we're all wrapped up. We're all wrapped up. Here. Okay, buddy. And down in there is a ton of traffic. And then over here was where I found a bedding area. Well, not right there, maybe. Shit, I don't know, 100 yards. And when the leaves are all down, I can actually see all the way down to that beaver pond. And the only blind spot I really have is behind me. This kind of goes up and then drops back down. So we've got uh, tracks all along here, droppings all along here. Heading this way a little bit. This is why I came up in here, because there's tracks all over the place. Maple, some of the smaller maple saplings are nipped right down. And you can see quite a ways, like I said. So. Go a little further. He didn't want to drink any more water, so he's just he's just on a mission right now. He's smelling something. Sometimes he freaks me out because he'll sit and he'll stare off in the distance and it's like what dude, what do you see that I don't see? Anyways, we'll sit up here for a little bit, cool off and, and then we'll head back. Focus, there we go. I'll pin it, save it. Um, you know, I'm not a, I'm not the greatest deer hunter in the world and I'm new to Vermont. So it's just kind of about trying stuff out. Um, in this area, that's there'll be no sign, no sign, no sign, and you'll see a lot of deer sign. And so, I mean, there's tracks all over the place. That's me walking along there, but there's, there's definitely tracks crisscrossing this whole area. There's traffic moving through here. There's food for them. And there's a bedding area. Where am I pointing here? Down there. But I like this because I'm not quite at the top of this hill, so I'm not silhouetted. And in the winter time, or for bow season, I'll have a lot more visibility. All right. So, oh, like I said before, I'm no professional guide. I'm not the greatest white-tailed deer hunter in the world. Um, but I think if I stay consistent and I'm persistent, I can I can get a buck out of this out of this piece of land. Uh, come come bow season or rifle season. We'll try, we'll try either or. Um, so, and I'll document that along the way, but it's fun. I like getting out in the woods, even if even if I saw nothing. Uh, I like breaking a sweat, getting out in the woods and uh, just being a part of this, this amazing piece of uh, land that is the Green Mountain National Forest. So, anyways, that's it. We're gonna head in and uh, maybe go get a beer. He doesn't realize he's off his leash. Oh, <laughs> he turned right around. <laughs> All right, he's gonna go the other way. 
Guess I gotta go get him. <laughs>